A young Mexican named Mario Lara was beginning to make his dream come true. After carefully thinking about it, he decided to quit his tedious job and become his own boss. With great enthusiasm, he opened his own birthday supply store. A dream that unfortunately lasted him very little because around the corner, a true hell awaited him. An incredible event that began last year and that now, between confusion and terror, does not seem to find a prompt solution. My name is Leonor Clay, and this is The Darkest Secret. Today we present the chilling case of Mario Lara. The inauguration of Mario's store was a great milestone in his life. He even uploaded videos of the event to his social media. His Facebook page at that time had been filled with positive messages, photos, and videos of the store. However, on October 15, 2020, everything changed. Everything changed when his friends, family, and his own clientele woke up to this image. At that moment, those who weren't family or close friends, like you and I, did not understand the context of that image. Apparently, something was happening there that only his closest ones knew about. He posted this not knowing that later his entire Facebook site would rise to fame. But not for his business, but for the odd things that were starting to happen. This video is long, and it doesn't have any cuts so I will only show you the most important parts. Eh, esa piñata que tenemos ahí es la que sospechosa, la verdad es que no sabemos si de verdad sea, sea dia, este, este diabólica o qué onda, pero esa piñata siempre amanece tirada, siempre amanece tirada, es lo que es raro. Ah, ya, la, ya la hemos tenido en observación y, y la hemos tenido en fondo en el, la bodega. Esa guardada, pues no, ya no está en venta. O si la quieren comprar, pues se las doy bien barata. Esa ya se las doy bien barata. Y, o sea, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, este sale y vuelve y vuelve a aparecer eh, siempre tirada. Bueno, vamos a, vamos a revisar a ver si por alguna razón este vuelve a aparecer tirado, ¿no? no ahí está, ahí está parada todavía. Eh, no se la he hecho, no, de hecho las patas no están bien hechas. Las patas están muy aguadas. Mira, vamos a Vamos a ver las, las... Oh, hijo de su puta madre. I know that compared to what you usually see on my channel, this is nothing much. But do you know what's worse? Apparently, this piñata not only falls inexplicably, it seems to drag itself. This is not just a simple theory. Several nights after the video you just watched, Mario checks the back of the store because he hears loud noises coming from there. Little by little, his journey towards the back begins to terrorize him since hair and scraps of piñata are scattered all over the floor. When he arrived at the back, there was nothing there, no one, and no sign of the piñata. While this type of thing happened at night, during the day, the employees began to report impossible occurrences, things that without the security cameras installed would have remained as simple stories, as simple pranks.
seeing the escalation of events that were taking place inside the store, Mario decides to install motion detection cameras in order to see what happened in the store during the night. What he obtained from those recordings has become, in his own words, the worst events of his life. You may have seen this footage since it went viral on the internet, but you may not know the whole story. As a skeptic, he never thought of ghosts. He thought of someone who would come into his business at night and play a prank. Therefore, with camera in hand, he went to his store at that precise moment. Ya no está la... Quitamos la veladora por cuestiones de seguridad. Y pues, todo normal. Nadie me quiso acompañar. After this video, the number of followers on his social networks increased tremendously, with everyone giving all kinds of theories. Some believe that it was something paranormal, while others said that they had an intruder, a madman living inside a store. Everyone wanted to know the details of the situation, however his account went completely silent for an entire month. As you may remember at the beginning of the video, Mario makes a joke saying that he will sell it cheap to whoever wants the piñata. November 10th of last year, Mario posted a new message, stating that the piñata was no longer in his store and that a shaman named Alberto Figueroa had come to help him with his problem. That supposed shaman went to his store and behind closed doors without employees or family present performed some kind of ritual. It ended with the man urgently asking if he could take the piñata. Mario thought that this would stop all of his problems, 
and agreed to let the shaman take it away. However, since it's been gone, his situation has not improved, and events like this are even becoming more and more frequent. The shaman no longer responds to his messages and has completely blocked him. What occurred in that ritual? Nobody knows, but what Mario does know is that his employees are beginning to report dozens of terrorizing situations, which is why he decides to place motion detection cameras connected to his smartphone to find out once and for all what is happening in the business that represents his entire life savings a place that he is determined not to leave. As the cameras are linked to his cell phone, he receives dozens of alerts every night, each with videos like the one you just observed. What would you do in his situation? He no longer wants to contact any more so-called religious individuals who promise to free him from this burden for large sums of money. His followers ask him to leave the store but he insists that the store is his dream and that he has invested all of his efforts in it. Feeling desperate, he could only think of buying another pañata, identical to the previous one, to see if things would calm down. However, the results of that lies in this video. The next morning, Mario went accompanied to see what had happened with the piñata. That day, he does not open the store and does a live broadcast that lasts 40 minutes. What is extracted from that recording is the piñata on the floor, completely destroyed. Y ahí está, mira. Escuchando su burro. Dios, eso es Dios. Lo escuché. Una cancilla así aquí, una cancilla. Mira. A ver, no lo vi. Apparently, whatever lies in this store knew that that piñata was not the original.
Mario's account would be updated again on December 1st with information that surprised all of his followers. In the message, he states that Alberto Figueroa, the shaman who had taken the original piñata, had contacted him again. Although they did not speak directly, and instead of returning the piñata in person, the man sent him directions that indicated the location of the object in case he still wanted to retrieve it, which again gave Mario hope to finally end his ordeal. The coordinates took him to a secluded area. His followers told him to document what he found on video. Did you notice something strange within what I just showed you? After this, we will not have any more updates from Mario until this year, since the manifestations continue to occur. To try to calm this situation, has been completely in vain. Ay, a ver si quedó grabado eso. Ay, vieron cómo se aventó la puerta. Esas son las cosas que pasan aquí a veces. Ahí está la moana. Ahí está la moana y es lo que les digo, se avientan las cosas. Add to this that his health continues to deteriorate. It's hard for him to sleep. He's always tense. And that has brought him physical consequences. Mario affirms that his cameras continue to record activity and that manifestations have increased in intensity, as if that being literally wanted to throw him out. Many followers, when seeing this video, told Mario that something strange was observed on the television. They motivated him to record everything himself for when this rare phenomena happened again. They did not have to wait that long, since everything would happen again the next night. Pinche tele que se prende. Ahí está era. Prendida la tele. Otra vez se me prendió la televisión. En el otro 
otro video me dijeron que se veían caras. These things have Mario practically on the verge of depression, because adding to these phenomena, the sales of his store have decreased due to the restrictions resulting from the pandemic and the constant closures due to these incidents. One of his last videos was uploaded on March 24th of this year. The image shows the piñata, but apparently the creature was no longer interested in it. There have been a few who have suggested to Mario to leave. However, even though he wants to, he cannot, because he invested all his savings into the store. So abandoning this place is not an option for him. How else could he get out of this situation? Put yourself in his place for a moment and tell me, what would you do? An impressive case in which we will be looking out for. My name is Leonor Clay, and this was The Darkest Secret. <laughs>